Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Volkswagen Passat R-Line, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. After eight years on the market, the 2020 Volkswagen Passat finally brings significant updates. When Volkswagen decided to launch the significantly updated 2020 Passat, however, it raised a few eyebrows. Here's why. The US spec 2020 VW Passat still rides on an old platform. Unlike the Passats for the Chinese and European markets, which are now built on Volkswagen's much newer MQB architecture that underpins the Golf. So even though the Passat is refreshed for 2020, the body in white is essentially the same as the car in 2012. Volkswagen says this is to keep costs down because sedan sales are on the decline in the US. That said, for 2020, the bodywork is now a bit swoopier with a redesigned front end, uh, new LED headlights, a fresh grille that ties it to the current Jetta, and a sculpted rear that makes the Passat a more handsome machine than before. And personally, I think the 2020 Passat looks particularly handsome in the R-Line. The 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder makes the same 174 horsepower but is up to 206 pound-feet of torque and the 6-speed automatic gets a new torque converter. Inside, the changes for the 2020 Volkswagen Passat are even more subtle but they shouldn't have been. The gauge cluster in the US spec, uh, US spec Passat, as we can actually see right here here's a shot of the gauge cluster well what's up with that well the gauge cluster in the US spec Passat hosts a teeny color display between an analog tack and speedometer had VW made the move to the MQB platform the Passat could have come with the Volkswagen's state-of-the-art fully digital instrument cluster like the Tiguan but the sedan's older platform won't allow for it the climate controls remain unchanged as does the center console Volkswagen did make blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and automatic LED headlights features, uh, makes those features standard across all trim levels for 2020. So uh, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and automatic LED headlights are standard equipment for all 2020 Volkswagen Passats, just to be clear. Okay, so for 2020, there are four configurations, four trim levels of Volkswagen Passat. You have a base model S over here on the left, and it starts, it has an MSRP of $22,995. They all have the same engine, by the way. Uh, and like I said, they all come standard with the LED headlights, blind spot monitoring, all that there. Uh, then the next one up is your uh, SE. Your SE is 25845 It adds adaptive cruise control. You get dual zone climate control. That means the front, the driver and the passenger control their individual heating and all that. And then you get remote start. When you bump up to the R-Line, which is what we're going to build in price on the channel today, and I like this one. It's the sportiest one. And like I said, they all get the same engine. Um, the R-Line gets better wheels. It gets 19-inch alloy wheels. I was showing pictures in the gallery just a second ago, so we know what the R-Line looks like. Gets power tilt sliding sunroof, and you get the R line front bumper and badging. So the, the, the exterior is a little bit different, a little sportier. And if I didn't say it, the R line has an MSRP of 28645 But if you want leather interior, and I'm usually a leather interior person, but I think the leatherette on Volkswagens is pretty good, which the R line comes with leatherette, not leather. But if you want leather, you got to jump into an SEL, Volkswagen Passat. That gets the leather seat. Uh, you get this Fender premium audio system, and then you get park distance control. Like I said, they all get the same engine, and apparently the engine gets 34 miles to the gallon on the highway and 23 miles to the gallon in the city. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Volkswagen Passat. We are going to do the R-Line, and they're actually showing us an R-Line right now. Uh, what we're going to do is here is check out these six exterior colors. Uh, we'll see what other what the interior looks like and see what our selections are there. Uh, we'll go through all the features and technology, learn everything there is to know about everything they want to tell us anyway about the Volkswagen Passat. And obviously along the way, we'll learn about the other features. We'll learn about the other configurations a little bit. And we'll learn all about what kind of technology the Volkswagen Passat comes with. Even though it's riding on the old architecture, the U.S. spec uh, Volkswagen Passat gets the old architecture, unfortunately. 
Real quick though, before we actually check the colors, I have uh, down in the description below, below this video in the description, I have put a link to related build and price reviews that I've done that that re, uh, compete with the 2020 Volkswagen Passat. Like for instance, the 20 uh, the 2019 Buick Regal Tour X is extremely nice. The 2019 Buick Regal Sportback is really really nice, uh, and the Mazda 6 Grand Touring for 2019. I've done all those and more, and I've put those links in the description below, so make sure you check those out uh, after you watch this video from front to back. Okay, let's talk about these exterior colors. So this exterior color is called Tourmaline Blue Metallic. Uh, this is Aurora Red Metallic. It's a $395 option. We've got Deep Black Pearl. We've got Platinum Gray Metallic. They were showing this color in the gallery, on the gallery images. We've got Reflex Silver Metallic, which is nice. And then, of course, we already saw the Pure White. Uh, here we can actually spin around. We can get a virtual walk around of the exterior of the 2020 Volkswagen Passat, specifically the R-Line. I like the 19-inch wheels. I like the, the, the faux integrated bumpers or exhaust. Uh, I like the little, um, the little spoiler on the back of the trunk. It's very nice. Okay, so here we are on the interior of our 2020 Volkswagen Passat R-Line. They're showing the R-Line specifically. We can take... Oh, this moves nice. So, yeah, the leatherette looks pretty nice. The leatherette looks pretty nice in a Volkswagen, just in general. as a blanket statement, not just in the Passat, but in, across the whole uh, lineup. Uh, so, yeah, here's a nice shot of the interior of the Volkswagen Passat R-Line that's shown in Titan Black VTEX. You can also get it with this Shetland and Black VTEX leatherette. All right. Uh, that's, they're still showing the R-Line. And then they have these other colors, but then I don't know if this is for the R-Line because it's, it's leather. So you got uh, this black leather. This is going to probably be for the SEL configuration. You got the Shetland Vienna leather. And then they've got these. Yeah, they have brown leather. They have, uh, yeah, and then more leatherettes. Uh, brown leatherette. Titan black cloth. Yeah, this is they're showing us the interior options for all the trim levels. And then of course these uh these two here being specifically for the R line, the Shetland and Black VTEX, and then the Titan Black VTEX, which we're certainly gonna go with. I'm kind of feeling partial to the red exterior with the Titan Black VTEX, but we'll see when we get to the uh configurator. All right, let's go through this gallery really fast. There's only 15 slides. We saw most of them here. They're showing the LED taillights. Here's a nice shot of the R-Line bumper, although they're talking about the LED headlights. But we know it's an R-Line. We can see the little R-badging on the bumper. Uh, what do we got? Here's a nice shot of the R-Line from the back. Oh, yeah, the color's called Aurora Red Metallic. Uh, here's a R line in white. The R-Line just looks the best. If you're really interested in this car uh, and you're not trying to get leather or something, you at least pop, and it, even if you're trying to buy it at a bargain, at least get the R line. Do me a favor and get the R line. That's the best looking one. Reflex. So why do you think they keep showing it? Because they know it's the best looking one. Uh, and platinum gray is quite nice. It looks grown up in, in platinum gray. Here's a nice shot of the interior. Uh, that Titan black leatherette. Here we can see uh, Android Auto being up right here. So we got Apple CarPlay. We got Android Auto. Uh, it's got nice uh, pedals. The pedals look nice. Here's your push-button start. I see a digital speedometer. And at the end of the day, even though it's got the old gauge cluster, and it doesn't have the super sweet gauge cluster that the new ones could have if it was riding on the uh, MQB uh, platform, but it's not, at least it has a digital speedometer. And if you watch this channel, you know I love, and that's putting it mildly, I love a digital speedometer. I also love a head-up display. If you don't know that, I also say this. Go ahead and subscribe. See the subscribe button I'm circling over here in the bottom corner? Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that other button that gets the notification. So that way when I post new content, you'll be one of the first people to know. Okay, so here's an available sunroof. But we know the R-Line comes with a sunroof. Comes with a panoramic roof. Here's the R-Line with that black Titan uh, leatherette. So here's what the interior of ours will look like. Uh, yep, they're getting a close-up of that Apple car. I'm sorry, yeah, Android Auto. I, you know, even though it's got the old architecture, it's still nice inside here. It is sad that they didn't upgrade it, but, you know, I get it. At the end of the day, you know, I get it. But, uh, yeah, here's a nice shot of the uh, center console. I see a USB port, a 12-volt. Looks like there's probably sections here for lots of buttons that this particular one doesn't have. Here they're talking and highlighting the keyless access. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, there's the Apple CarPlay, too, just FYI. 
there's Apple CarPlay. All right, so there's the gallery. Let's move on and start learning about the different features. Like the design features, or lack thereof, seeing that this is riding on the old platform. Here they're talking about how the Volkswagen Passat is designed with all passengers in mind. And yeah, it looks pretty good in there. But here's the deal. Uh, this person looks a little crampy. They got their leg twisted right here. This guy's got a lot of room back here. But I think this person's got to be up pretty far. And surely they have somebody short behind this guy. At any rate, it, it looks reasonably comfortable back there. Uh, the Passat, I guess, I guess is a midsize sedan. I don't know... I guess we'll try to see if we can find the specs so we can see interior dimensions like leg room and head room and shoulder room and all that kind of stuff so we can get, be a little more specific than, mm, I guess it looks all right. Oh, they actually had some stuff to say. So here they're talking about the VTEX leatherette seating surfaces. And yeah, this is available seating surface, right, because the base model comes with cloth interior. I don't even think you get the leatherette. Uh, you got the dual zone climate control. Remember the second tier, the SE once you get into the SE, that's the second trim level, you get dual zone climate control. So we're going to get the R-Line. r line's going to, of course, have the available dual zone climate control. And then they're talking about the rear leg room. Uh, yeah, they're saying that, that the uh, 2020 VW Passat has more than three feet of rear leg room. And friends of all sizes can stretch out. There you go. All right, let's move on. All right, what do we got here? Uh, some other notable features, design features. We've got two rear USB charging ports, and we've got heated front seats. They're available heated front seats. That's not standard. Uh, nor is the uh, USB ports. They say uh, two available. The word available means it's an option. If you don't know that, if you don't watch my channel, blah, 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 whatever, the word available means optional. So it's not, not standard equipment. The USB charging ports nor the heated front seats. Although, I think it was, when you get into the SE, we'll figure it out. We'll definitely have heated front seats on our R-Line. We'll definitely have our USB ports. We'll get it all in there, you can be sure, if it doesn't come bundled at that price point, which it probably does. Oh, and then down here, they're just talking about how there's rear air vents, which you would think, ah, yeah, so what? Why even bother mentioning that? Well, it actually does matter. I did actually own a 2015 BMW X1, and... As nice as that car was, it didn't have any rear vents. And so people in the back, well, at least the the, 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 the trim level I had, the people in the back, it kind of stunk for them. Uh, it would have been nice to have rear air vents. So, yeah, rear air vents, it's a thing. We, we shouldn't take it for granted, apparently. All right, here we go. Now they're getting specific because they know it's their hottest one. They're talking about the R-Line. That's the one we're going to get. It's got the sporty front end. Uh, it's for the most sophisticated drivers, they say. I must be sophisticated. 19-inch <laughs> wheels. It's got performance design cues. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I do like the R-Line. I like the R-Line across the Volkswagen, uh, uh, across their product lineup in general. Here's some notable features of the R-Line. You got the LED projector headlights. Well, I guess it's not notable features of the R-Line. Now we're just moving on. LED projector headlights with LED daytime running lights. Okay, now I don't see the words available at all. So is this standard? I don't know. We're going to have it at our R-Line for sure, though. And then we got the LED tail lights as well. Attractive. Again, this car isn't fully redesigned like uh, the Chinese and European markets, but it's still very nice. What else do we got here? We got the uh, rain-sensing wipers. And they're an available option. Available rain-sensing wipers. Says it right here. And then we have the available self-dimming rear-view mirror. Right? There you go. There's a couple of other design options. Optional design features, I should say. Optional design features. Oh, maybe we still are talking about the R-Line. Because here's the 19-inch wheel, which is standard on the Passat R-Line. Right? It's very nice. I mean, it's not the, the most attractive wheel. But for the Volkswagen Passat, it's working quite nicely. Then there's the sunroof. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Maybe they're just skipping around with stuff. Because then they say available power sunroof. I know that the Passat R-Line comes with a sunroof. But here you go. It's an option. Maybe you're not looking at the R-Line. Maybe you might want the SE. But yeah, you can get a power sunroof in your Volkswagen Passat for 2020. All right, let's talk about technology features. We went through the design features. If we look up here at the top, we kind of went over. We did. We went over the overview. We did the colors. We did the gallery. We did, did the design. Now we're going to check out the te uh, technology features. 
We'll check out performance features. We already looked at trims. We already looked at trim. We don't even need to do that. We're going to check out tech features, performance features, safety features, and then we'll do our build-in price. All right, so tech features, 6.3-inch touchscreen with voice control and intuitive proximity sensor behind a clear glass display. There it is with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. They're, they're showing Apple CarPlay right now. Yes, maybe you see it too. There's that digital speedometer in the upper left-hand corner. Okay, what other notable technology features do we have? There's the available keyless access with push-button start. That's going to be standard on our R line. And then there's, uh, yeah, I already kind of talked about this. And, they yeah, they got the premium, they call it premium color multifunction display. Uh, gives you uh, vehicle information, your digital speedometer, uh, connects to your compatible phone. And so, yeah, it's old school stuff, but, uh, yeah. One of my favorite features, blind spot monitor uh, is really cool. Blind spot monitor is pretty self-explanatory, uh, so I'm not going to get into that. Uh, Sirius XM with all access. Every manufacturer with their with their with their audio, they throw in Sirius XM, and they usually give you a, a trial subscription. But that's only good for the first person who buys the car right off the dealer floor. Obviously, you're not going to have that. If you buy this car used, you're going to have to pop the money to get this Sirius XM turned on. Uh, but yeah, when you buy the car brand new, they normally give you three, six. It varies by manufacturer and depending on what kind. Because there's like, I don't know, like 12 different versions of Sirius XM. Seriously, I don't know how many there are, but there's more than one. There's at least a half a dozen, at least. And so manufacturers will give you varying uh, packages and, and free trials. I've seen it for almost a, maybe even a year long for some of them. At any rate, Sirius XM, I'm not into it, and so I don't even know why I just spent all that time talking about it. Here they're just letting us know that there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I don't think we need to explore that. They're proprietary systems, they, meaning that Apple controls theirs and Android controls theirs, and so uh, they function the same on all vehicles. Uh, and, and that's all good. That's all good. That's nice. All right, let's talk about these technology features. So there's the adaptive cruise control, and it's an available system. All right. There's blind spot monitor. All right. And it's available on select trims, it says. And I think our blind spot monitor is standard on our um, uh, on our, our line. And it says on select models, it can also counter steer within the limits of lane assist. That's pretty cool. Here's lane assist right here. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's front assist, right? There's rear traffic alert, one of my favorite features. There's park distance control with maneuver braking. There's park assist, and that's an available feature. You can see that word available there. Uh, what else do they have here? And then there's light assist, so your high beam, available high beam control. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's talk performance features. Uh, the Volkswagen Passat, eh, I don't know if it's got a bunch of performance features. It's got one engine. It's got a two-liter turbocharged engine. makes 174 horsepower, 206 pound-feet of torque. It's got a six-speed automatic transmission. Uh, what else are they going to tell us? Let's find out. Yeah, turbocharged engine, check. Six-speed automatic transmission, check. Sport mode, we didn't know about that. It's got a sport mode. All right, check. Uh, Leather-wrapped multifunction steering wheel, the paddle shifters, check. There you go. Then that says available track inspired paddle shifters. So I'm sure the R line probably comes with them. Well, that was it for safety. I mean, for performance, that was fast, wasn't it? We went through that in a heartbeat. They just had a little bit of information. All right, here's safety. Let's find out about safety. And then after we find out about safety, we'll try to dig out those specs real quick and see if we can see like interior dimensions and stuff. And then we'll do the building price. Okay, so here they're telling us about their safety cage. Here's the safety cage that has crumple zones and a rigid safety cage. It distributes forces away from the driver and passenger so you get in an accident. Uh, there's an intelligent crash response system that says in the event of a collision, it deploys the airbags and it can turn off the fuel pump, unlock the doors, activate hazard lights, and all that stuff there. Uh, on another note, uh, this R line is gorgeous. Notice that they keep showing the R line. You got your rear view camera. That's standard fare. Uh, what else we got here? We got automatic post collision braking system, meaning we, kind of, we just kind of went over that. If, if you get in an accident, this thing's going to be able to stop itself. It can slow down the vehicle itself. You got a tire pressure monitoring system, 
and you have six enhancing systems six stability enhancing systems they say electronic brake pressure distribution uh, electronic stability control uh, and all that kind of stuff there basically it's going to help keep the car under control if you get a little out of control okay so yeah we went through all the features and everything real quick I just want to check the specs for our line so that way we can find out our interior dimensions really really fast I'm still looking around for it, but uh, note it, we've got an 18.5 gallon fuel tank on the 2020 Volkswagen Passat R-Line. Okay, here it is really fast. I know it looks like a hot mess in here, but we got front shoulder room is 56.9 inches, uh, seating for five people, front leg room 42.4 inches, uh, rear volume, rear headroom is 37.8 inches, rear shoulder room is a nice generous 57 inches, uh, rear leg room is 39.1 inches. Front headroom, 38.3 inches. Okay, cargo volume, and we need to know this, is 15.9 cubic feet. Oh, check it out. We can see what accessories are available for our um, 2020 Volkswagen Passat. So we can add remote start, which we certainly will. I love that feature. Uh, there's a bumper Dillo protection plate that's kind of self-explanatory, you know, so it doesn't get scuffed. You got the Muddy Buddy trunk liner. I like that. Uh, the floor liners. I like those. Cargo tech blocks. Uh, I don't think we need that. Well, it helps to secure cargo. But yeah, I'm, we're all right with that. Enhanced rear view mirror with home link. That's cool. It's got a compass in there. I like that. Prism rear view mirror with home link. Home link means that it like the garage door opener stuff. Uh, locking wheel locks. I like that kind of stuff. Uh, monster mats. I think the Muddy Buddies are nicer. The Mojo mats. You got your carpeted summer mats. Those are nice. You got a rear seat cover for your pets and all that. That's cool. Uh, universal tablet holder. A coat hanger. Custom sun shield. License plate frames. Yeah. Okay. So there it all is. Uh, we learned all the stuff we needed to know. Now let's go build and price our 2020 Volkswagen Passat R line. Okay. I said we were going to do ours in. Aurora Red Metallic. It's a $395 option. Although now that I do that, they kept showing that Platinum Gray Metallic, and that is attractive. Here's the deal. Going forward, I can say, mm, I wish I would have gotten that Platinum Gray, but I probably won't say, mm, I wish I would have gotten that Red. So maybe we're going to do the Platinum Gray Metallic. We'll do the Platinum Gray Metallic, and we're only going to do the Titan Black VTEX Leatherette. We only get one choice of transmission. As far as options are concerned, those are accessories. Remember, I already said I like the remote start. I like the Muddy Buddy trunk liner. I liked the Muddy Buddy, Buddy floor liners. I like that uh, enhanced rear view mirror with home link. I didn't need to get the prism one or whatever. I like the locking wheel bolts. And I think that was about... No, I wanted the Mojo mats, the carpeted mats. And I probably want a rear seat cover for the times I'm going to want to put some stuff back there, but I don't want to ruin my back seat. Uh, and, yeah, that's about it. Oh, wow, we're there. We're at the summary. So there it is. Uh, $30,000 for what I think is a pretty nice car, even though it's riding on an old platform. So, yeah, there it is. 2020 VW Passat R-Line. I like it, even though it's riding on the old architecture. All right, so that's it. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We just uh, did a build and price of the 2020 VW Passat R-Line. Uh, has an MSRP at 28645 It comes pretty loaded. I think it's the nicest one of the bunch, even though it doesn't get leather. I don't care. I still think it's the nicest one. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And like I said, I've put related build and price reviews in the description below. So please make sure to check out my other videos. Thank you, and have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very 